I'm Ryan Burgess, owner of Slack's Antique Mall here in Wellsville, Ohio. Tell me about yourself. Oh my, born and raised in Wellsville, graduated high school and started working at the local pottery, uh, Sterling China. It's a typical day like working at Sterling China. It's a lot of heavy lifting, a, a lot of heat. And it may have been, you know, 200 degrees in places you're working beside a kiln or whatever. As an 18 year old young kid, uh, I bought my first home working at the Pottery. I still live there. It's not a mansion or nothing like that, but it, I mean, I never really needed nice things. I'm just happy with what I got, you know? So what was after Sterling China for you? I went to the uh, um, power plant down in Stratton, and yep. I've been there for 20 years. I uh, work, still work a full-time job there, and then as you met my wife earlier, me and her are running the store here. When did you really start collecting a lot of this stuff? Oh, probably in my early 20s. How long has this been, uh, you know, a dream for you? Uh, probably, I would say for the last 10 years anyways. Yeah. Uh, I've been wanting to do, do, do this plan, but I just had to, c to come across the building. The building was uh, actually a perpetual uh, savings and loan uh, built in 1906, and it's uh, connected to another building, which was uh, Oddfellows Hall, built in 1906 also. and. Uh, they still have the bank vaults in here. A lot of history uh, is still here. Everything I tried to, whenever we redid, redid, redid the building, we tried to keep everything original as we could. The building had been sitting vacant for a number of years. It needed extensive work. Uh, that's why it took us four years to, to put everything back. Four together. years to get Four the... years to put uh, the, all, the, all the labor to get it uh, back to where we wanted it. For you, your family, your father-in-law, your wife, like what were, what were you doing a typical day when this thing was coming together? Well, I mean, I, I would, I, for them two years, I worked steady midnight. Uh, uh, so I, I would finish up at seven in the morning, uh, work from 11 to seven. Down at the power plant? At the power plant, yeah. And uh, then um, I would leave there, come home, drink some coffee, get perked back up. Uh, my father-in-law would meet me here and then we'd just be on the move, uh, completely gutting a uh, 30 by 80 foot ceiling and redoing it, or maybe completely gutting, uh, you know, 300 square foot room uh, down to the studs and, and rebuilding all it, or maybe doing three months worth of plumbing uh, because the, the, all the water lines were frozen. During all that work, you're keeping all of this original. Yeah, as original as, as possible. possible yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then uh, leaving here, you know, getting something to eat, leaving here, going home, uh, and, and the kids would be just getting done school, uh, getting them dinner, uh, having the house and the laundry all uh, done as much as I could and then getting dinner ready for whenever my wife got done with school and going to bed and getting, I, I probably got maybe three or four hours of sleep for two years every day. Wow. And that's, sometimes I didn't get any sleep. But When did you open up? So we opened up uh, a month ago, which would have been uh, uh, May the 12th. After all that work, how did opening day feel and what's the reception in the community been? Uh, opening day was great. Community seems like they love it. Uh, it seems like they uh, think it's a nice addition to the village on Main Street here. At some point uh, during the opening day and opening week, we had 10 customers in the store at all, all points of the day. Who's come through the store? Has it been locals? Are you drawn from uh, other it's places? It's unbelievable. We've had people from Florida, people from Georgia, people from Whoa. North and South Carolina. We've even had a lady from Anchorage, Alaska here. You know, the Valley to outsiders has a really rough reputation for, for industrial decline and everything. But there's a lot of these gems up and down the river towns. Uh, how, how do you feel about the outlook of the valley going forward? If the community could rely on the small businesses, uh, that's, I think that's going to be the, 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 the hot points for keeping these small little villages and towns up and down this river going because uh, uh, I don't know how long the power plant's going to be here. The potteries are completely almost completely disappearing all, all, all together. Is this community able to support a really good business? Yeah, I think they, I think they definitely are. Uh, I think this, the smaller businesses, uh, the, uh, the community definitely supports it. They, uh, we have tons of uh, locals coming in and out of here and, and giving us good feedback with every, you know, everything we're doing. And I think they're proud of uh, the businesses that are starting to come back on Main Street again. And, uh, and I can see, you know, people perking up and, and, and showing pride in the Main Street area and the village again. What do you want people who haven't been um, to Wellsville or towns like that, what do you want them to know about towns like this? Uh, I've just uh, to give the town or the bit of villages like this up and down the river, just give them credit. Uh, they may seem like they're uh, on hard times, but at one point they were uh, the best little towns ar around here. And it seems like uh, they're all trying as much as they can to come back around to that point.
give them a chance because there's always a hidden little gem or a hidden little business in, in, a, in a town like this. If you're driving past, uh, maybe stop, take a cruise through Main Street, and you might find something uh, that'll surprise you. Did I see a massive surfboard around here also? <laughs> yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Right Where's here. that from? There yeah. you go. Yeah, that's, that's the one. <laughs> What's believe, the story, What's the story with not, that thing? I found the surfboard here in Wellsville. <laughs>